Temperatures are rising this week in eastern Kentucky with some daily highs reaching the mid-90s range. The Pike County Health Department has some helpful information on how to stay hydrated, watch for signs of heat stroke, and how to avoid the heat altogether. Public Health Director Tammy Riley gives us more details. We know it's going to be a hot week, and so from a public health perspective, what we recommend is you know, this wouldn't, would not be the, uh, a good week to go out in the middle of the day and, and have a vigorous run. So try to do any necessary um, activities that must occur outdoors earlier in the morning when the temperatures are cooler. Also wear lighter clothing, lighter color clothing, lighter fabrics um, to accommodate the high temperatures. We would advise the individuals to stay hydrated, drink lots of fluids and water. And then also, you know, as we would always recommend when exposed to direct sunlight, you know, wear and utilize sunblock to protect your skin. So there are some things you can do. Avoid those outdoor activities and your sunblock, stay hydrated. You think about your attire, wear appropriate clothing out. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected? Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Due to the heat, some local establishments could function as cooling stations later in the week. Local officials will continue to monitor the weather to decide if said cooling stations are necessary at this time. Cooling stations are being considered, but only in the event if temperatures get higher than expected or where they're currently predicted. And the Department of Emergency Management typically uh, manages those cooling stations. Um, the city of Pikeville, uh, typically the fire department um, through this uh, either fiscal court or city hall for the county and the city. But officials that, miss, that need to manage those cooling stations are monitoring the weather. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.